Well, just like they did with the geoengineering, David Keith coming out and saying that we're going to be geoengineering, uh, I don't know, a state in Arizona. Uh, our first experiments, when they've been doing it for decades, increasingly so, they will be coming out, mainstream media, reporting on weather modification. I want to thank my subscriber for sending this link along to me. Yes. Somehow power plants created snow. A rare weather event today, power plants are making it snow in Nebraska. New at 10, Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Katrina Spurl explains it all for us. Katrina? That's right. I spoke with the National Weather Service who said today's weather conditions were just right for the power plants to generate snow. Quite the phenomenon in Nebraska on Monday, many places were being dusted with snow, but it wasn't from Mother Nature. It was actually man-made. The National Weather Service location in the Omaha and Valley area reported that the snow was actually created by the steam from power plants in Norfolk. When you're driving around on a typical day, uh, you may pass a, a plant of some sort and you see the steam that it's producing. Typically that just evaporates. Uh, but on a day like today, where we had just the right temperatures, just the right humidity in place, it was able to actually produce snow. It's not common, but it has happened before in the United States. Brian explained how it's possible for power plants to help generate snow. We have heat and steam, which is moisture, just added to the atmosphere. And when that goes up in the atmosphere on a day like today, you end up getting additional clouds and snow crystals to form. Now, after those form, the wind continues to blow and pushes them downstream. The National Weather Service radar showed this band of snow. The wind carried the snow to as far south as Lincoln and Crete. Some areas got up to two inches of snow just from the power plants. It was a day where uh, it was set up for light snow to fall, but if you were downwind of, of this particular narrow snow band, you got a little bit more than everyone else. Brian predicted that the winds decreasing tonight and temperatures cooling off will put an end to the snow, but still a very interesting and unique concept to learn about today. Oh yeah, a very unique. And it's not common. Well, if you do some research, you'll find out that it's very common that they use these power plants uh, that create vapor and they can create flash flooding and they can create snow and oh my God, and the radar you did see them show that radar station that emits high frequencies that they shoot up into the ionosphere and that bounce back and they use the extremely low frequencies and voila, you got snow, you got rain, you got whatever it is that you want. Cyclones, earthquakes, hey, earthquakes, yep. More and more they're going to be coming out. It's the the slow introduction to the American people that yes, man creates weather. And do not, do not think for one second that those that you have been trying very hard to educate about man controlling the weather, don't think that they're going to be coming to you and saying, you were right. I'm sorry. They'll just go on and accept it and they will pretend like you never said anything. This is so... What a time. What a time we're living. I, I just... <laughs> what a time we're living. Thank you for sending this along to me. Yeah, power plants, just do the research and you'll find out that power plants have been instrumental in hmm, those hurricanes like Harvey and the flash flooding that we have seen all over the country. The link is below.